Alright guys, this is Marco Micheletto with Tormento FC uh, and I'm going to do a quick tutorial of a self-portrait. It will be the first part of a trilogy. Um, let's have it. I'm not a big fan of the white canvas, so first of all you've got to start with the background and I'm uh, turning it all black um, to then add a little white layer around it to make that little face pop out a bit more. Um, to save yourself some paint you can you know, dilute it with the water. As you can see I apply a bit of paint and then I dip my brush in some water. Um, and the paint smudges over a little bit. I've just finished my layer of black um, and now I want to put a little centre piece of white but before I can do that I need to let the black dry. haven't got enough time for that so I'm going to use this little handy tool. Just looking for a brush that's a bit cleaner, like this one here. Um, I'm going to put um, an extravagant layer of white paint here in the middle, and um, just that's going to be the background of where then I can put colour to my face. Um, I let the black dry a little bit, and now it's just a matter of it might have to be done over a few layers, but one extravagant layer should be enough. As there's many things, it's simple, but it's not easy. As you can see, when you, when you make that first layer of white on this black, it doesn't really look like it's, it's, you know, it's showing through. You can see the black in the back. That's why it's probably going to take two or three layers of the white um, to have a nice, strong white to then be able to start your face on. almost hummus looking colour um, to, to try and recreate my skin tone. You've also got to play around with your eyes a little bit because um, once it's actually on there and it's dried out, um, it changes colour a little bit, it becomes a bit lighter. So I'm not too worried that it looks pretty dark for now. Um, it's going to eventually dry out to be the colour that I'm looking for. It. Um, the white is ready. So I think I can start applying, well actually before applying it, um, I'm going to just guide myself by drawing uh, sort of the shape of my head um, beforehand. So I try to make a little bit, and it doesn't matter whether you do all these like mistakes or go over and stuff like that, because all of this is going to be covered, it's just going to help you now uh, have an understanding of where the paint goes. Um, you can also look for some cylinder-like objects. Uh, if I look around, I see that organic protein tub. And you can, you know, sketch around them if you want a, a perfectly symmetrical cylinder. But uh, I don't feel like my head is perfectly symmetrical, therefore this will do. Once I have those outlines, 
I'm just going to get the paint and just whack it in the middle of it. Um, try have the discipline to stay within the lines. It will give you the freedom later to um, express yourself. I think that's one of the keys here at Tormenta. Discipline equals freedom. As you can see, once you paint over the lines, and it's all right now to see how I've gone outside of it a little bit. That'll be all right, especially up here, because this is where my hair's gonna be. So I'm just creating a little base layer or skin tone. Um, the key to this right now is probably smoothing out the face as much as I can in order that you don't have a clear brush mark along the face. So once you've filled in most of the area, then you can start going across it and smoothing everything out like this. And there we've got the outline of the face with the base layer of skin. So once again at this point, you get Harry the hair dryer out and you black on it. As you can see, I've skipped, skipped the head and um, I've started to put the outline of the beard and the hair. Uh, and it's very important for you to just be confident. So rather than think too much of it, I'm just gonna whack. Just gonna whack a few layers, um, you know, connect the sideburns, figure out where my hair falls to the side. Um, I try have a little part in in the middle, which is obviously a lot bigger now than it, what it will be in the end. Um, but the key to this is to not fiddle around with the brush. Whack on the layers, be confident. Um, and right now, it doesn't look very good, but once I add a few layers, make the black a bit more vivid and go around the outsides, um, it will clean up a lot. Finally, um, it's taking shape. What I did was I finished off the outside, I didn't like this black line, and uh, I extended the white part uh, a little bit further. Um, finished off the hair, and as you can see, with a simple technique of just getting this Sharpie here, um, what I did to clean it up was just, just go around the edges, yeah, follow it around, follow it around. And then um, I've tried to add a little bit of a uh, of flow, flow with like hair looking like to it by just putting these lines that when they hit the light, it actually looks like there's rather than just a layer of paint, there's something there. Um, just to make you realize how much it cleans it up, just going a little board up. Um, look at the ear, it's got nothing on the outside. If I just get it and follow it around, it cleans it up, makes it look a lot tidier. Um, I've started cracking on with the eyes, uh, with a pencil mark. It's been a lot of trial and error. Draw an eye, rub it out, draw an eye, make it symmetric, add the nose. Um, now it's just a matter of um, committing to it. So what I'll start is I'll uh, put the white of the eyes and then um, and then I'll go from there. So I eventually found the lines of the eyes that work best. I don't think they're perfect, but they'll do. And then now, um, just filling in the area with the white. Um, I'm not sure whether you can see with the camera, there's pencil marks of where the nose is gonna fall and then the under eye and the eyelashes. That's all in place, because I feel like a face is all about the symmetry and filling up the actual face with the features of it. Therefore, before I committed to painting in these eyes, I made sure that um, everything else was in place in order that once I've done the white, it doesn't look out of place.
I'm using pastels um, to try and create the nose. Um, I didn't really want to paint it on. I feel like it would just come off too strong. So I'm just trying to change the shadows as much as I can by using the pastels and then using my finger to smear it, smear it around the place um, in the attempt to create some sort of different dimension to the face really. And I quite like to do everything with a with a sharpie because it just like comes out of you. But I'm not brave enough to do it with the nose because I think it's really easy to make really ugly. So I'm going to leave the nose to that and now I'm moving on to the eyes. Um, and I think that's going to be quite a, an important part of it. Um, I use my camera and I just look for my own eyes to realise how many rings it's got. And it's, you know, it's got the outer black one, then it's going to have a brown layer in the middle, and then it's going to have the pupil. Um, what I'm worried about is making myself cross-eyed. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and do it with a pencil. Uh, there we go. And let's say the little eye, the pupil can be in there. That looks cross-eyed. <laughs> right, just got to sort this one out. Once you find the right symmetry, uh, then I'll go ahead and add the colours that are needed. So I was, thought I'd almost finished, and being a self-portrait, I was going to incorporate things in the background. I was going to make the Italian flag up there, the green's missing here, and then I was going to make the air chroma colours at the bottom. Uh, you know, because I think it identifies with who I am. However, I looked at it, and I looked so fat, so I'm trying to take away a little bit from the beard area to try and, you know, thin out my face a little bit. Because maybe I was quite fat last year, but lost a lot of weight. So it's not fair on myself to make me look fat now as well. I think this is it. This is it for now. Uh, have a look. <laughs> I think I've done an okay job. I just hope I play a little bit better than I paint this year. Um, but all in all, uh, I'm happy with the end product considering my skill set when it comes to being an artist. It's not very symmetric, which is good. I think it's realistic. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, um, have a go and then give us a tag and I would love to give you feedback on what I think of uh, your own portrait. Cheers guys.